Hey everyone, welcome back to another Shadow Answers Devlog. Today in this Devlog today, I'm going to be talking about the past games I've made and how they've influenced my current games. You'll be able to see the progression from then till now and how I've gotten better at making games. This is going to be an awesome trip down memory lane. I'm really excited to show you guys all the games I previously made. Hope you enjoy! The first game I ever made was To Explore It All. This game was me first learning RPG Maker a couple years back now. It follows the story of three friends taking on a Dark Lord, a very standard RPG plot. But this is also my first foray in RPG Maker, and it's actually not bad. It still has a bit of growing pains, but that's natural with your first game. The second game I ever released was The Journey, which I made in three days as I was doing it to prepare for the GMTK 2022 Game Jam. In The Journey, you follow Fall and Cedric, two adversaries dealing with those problems in their past, such as old foes or king. The next game I want to talk about was my first ever GMTK Game Jam game, that being the tournament. In the tournament, you fight through a series of random fights, as that was the theme for the jam, was Roll of the Dice, until you get to the champion, who you then face off against. You play as Trevor, a very roguish kind of protagonist, throughout the tournament. And with the tournament, there's a lot of replayability with it compared to my other games, as the first three fights that you take part in are completely randomized. You could fight a mage, a minotaur, or even a sellsword. And the nice part is, out of around 6,000 entries, mine got around rank 2,332nd for just enjoyment alone. So it was really comforting to see those results as it was my first big jump into a huge game jam. The next game I want to talk about is Forgotten Dreams. This was my second GMTK Game Jam entry, as this one is for the 2023 Game Jam, and it did a lot better than the tournament. Forgotten Dreams follows Seth, a butler, to a Dark Lord, and you would think maybe the Dark Lord's the main protagonist, but no, it's the butler, as that was kind of the theme for the jam, was that kind of surprising. Anyways, Forgotten Dreams are really fun to make, as I kind of got to do this big army rush at the very end, to really level you up and make sure you're ready to fight the Dark Lord. If you're wondering, this game jam had around 6,700 entrants. I got 895th for just enjoyment, which was really awesome as I put a lot of effort into that game and I'm really proud with the result. The next game I want to talk about was my first foray into a non-RPG game, that being Tale of Two Brothers, which is a strategy RPG similar to Fire Emblem. With Tale of Two Brothers, it was a small, two chapter game in which you follow the story of Phallos and Erdrick as they try to regain their father's favor after he's previously kicked them out for using magic. It was a very simple game, it only maybe took me maybe a week at most to make as it was just me learning the ropes of SRPG Studio. The final game I want to talk about is Shadow Dancers. Not the game I'm currently working on, but it's prequel in the original Shadow Dancers. I'm really proud of how this game came out, as it's everything I've ever wanted to make in a game rolled in one singular package, as it has the comedy, the gameplay, and even the storytelling I would want from a game. Now of course, I'm making a sequel because I want to refine these things, but really, the core essence of what I want to make in a game is inside Shadow Dancers. You can see it in the character interactions, the combat, and everything in between. In Shadow Dancers, you follow the story of the Shadow Dancers, as they get put in debt by one of the character's fathers, in this case the leader of the Thieves Guild, that being Hector's dad, and throughout the game they must venture around different places in Hydea to then gain enough money to repay the Thieves Guild. The more you explore this game, the more you learn about the characters and the world itself. For example, Terry's quest for love, or or Hector standing up for himself, or something like Ken dealing with his past, or Leon finally meeting his hero. There's even more things in something like Shadow Dancers, as you have many biomes to explore, such as a giant sea expanse, or a desert wasteland. You can check all these games out on my itch page, along with the demo for the game I'm currently working on, Shadow Dancers of Lost Land. I would also like to add that at the time of recording, we are now at 49 subs, which is an absolutely wonderful milestone. I'm really happy we've been able to get there. I just wanted to thank everyone so much for letting me do this personal dream of mine and being along for the ride with me. 
Anyways, I'm in fire. See ya.